Recently, I stumbled across this tweet that really caught my eye. FinGBT, open source financial LLMs. FinGBT is an open source LLM for the finance sector. It takes a data-centric approach, providing researchers and practitioners with accessible resources to develop financial LLMs. This is exciting for obvious reasons. Um, LLMs are all the hype right now. And for whatever area of expertise you are in, you want to find a way to apply it to what you're doing. If you're reading financial statements, uh, analyzing data, whatever it may be, this is essentially a research paper going over the framework for applying these LLMs like ChatGBT to financial applications. And going over their diagrams, their research paper, and their GitHub, I think that what they're proposing is pretty cool. And of course, it's not the entire way there, but it is a good starting point and a good conversation point to get into building some really cool things. So that's why I wanted to talk about it today. And in the future, I do plan on talking about more research papers like this. Um, if I do see any tweets or research papers that catch my eye, I think that talking about them on my YouTube channel is a great way to give them exposure and to get people excited about things that they can apply or build on top of that's really at the cutting edge. Um, so before I get into the video talking about FinGBT, I do want to mention my own personal project, uh, which is called Ticker Trends. Uh, Ticker Trends is an alternative data financial research terminal. So we provide you with data from sources all around the internet um, and allow you to discover actionable insights based on that data in the stock market or any financial market that you're trading in. So that can be cryptocurrency stocks. Um, and we're actually also launching a fully managed fund based out of Dallas, Texas. This is called the Social Arbitrage Fund, uh, which is essentially a hedge fund. If you're interested in this, reach out to us, admin at navtrading.co. We have a lot of really exciting stuff happening at Ticker Trends. And if you're interested in any of it, you can also follow us on Twitter at Ticker Plus. I will also leave a link down in the description down below, um, but I'll get right back into talking about FinGBT. So FinGBT is initially when, when I saw that tweet, I thought that someone would be releasing, you know, an entire model. It's not all the way there because something like developing a model takes a lot of resources. And I think a really good place to see that is with the Bloomberg model. So they actually talk about in their FinGBT research paper, which I will also leave a link to in the description down below. Um, they mention the Bloomberg financial or Bloomberg GBT, which was their financial LLM. Essentially what Bloomberg did is they took all of the data that they've been collecting uh, for the Bloomberg terminal or just any Bloomberg financial research. They've been accumulating over you know years and years and years. And they inputted that all into their own LLM um, and got some pretty interesting results, um, obviously making it much better than regular chat GBT or any other open sourced LLM at doing financial research just because of the amount of context and knowledge that it was able to develop around that from looking at all of Bloomberg's data and documentation and everything that they use to train it. Um, why this is not accessible to everyone is because training a model like this can cost upwards of millions of dollars. Um, essentially, if you're trying to train a, mo a model on amounts of data uh, to make it substantial enough to making something like you know GBT3 or GBT4, it's not accessible to the average person. Um, and so that's why Bloomberg GBT, I believe, is not available to the public. It's either behind some paywall or maybe they're only using it internally. Um, but FinGBT, the entire purpose of it is to provide a way for people to collaborate in an open sourced environment to create something similar, if not better. And I'm actually going to talk about why I think FinGBT could be better um, if implemented properly in the framework that they propose. So if we actually take a look at the research paper, I'm, I'm not going to uh, read the entire thing to you, but I do want to look at this diagram just because I think it's it's really cool. Um, in, in some of my previous videos, I talk about how you could use ChatGBT to potentially create uh, like an actually profitable trading strategy. Really, a lot of that comes from this exact idea, which is how are you training and providing enough information to some form of to some form of intelligence to be able to determine profitable trades or 
um, actionable insights or any valuable level of research that you can take and then use in financial markets. Um, and actually the conclusion that they came to or that they lay out in this paper is very similar to what I was discussing as well. For a model to be able to come up with valuable research, it can't only have access to um, very rudimentary data. If you only have access to, let's say, financial statements, stock price, indicators or something, mathematical formulas, it's not going to be able to say, oh, this is the best stock to buy and I have a predefined edge now because there's no way for it to come up with that based on the data that it's provided. Um, what they propose here, um, we'll start at the bottom, is they say, first you start with the data layer. Uh, within the data layer, you have all forms of data, um, including news data, social data, filing data, so financial focused data, trend data, um, and potentially other data sets as well. Once you've compiled all of these data sets, essentially this is the knowledge base that the actual model is using to perform and make these decisions based on, let's say, this stock is better to buy than the other one, or um, doing deep analysis into all of this enormous data set into to finding or researching a specific company. So you take all of this data, um, you feed it into their natural language processing model, which they also have open source on their GitHub, um, and then you perform some form of data engineering or cleaning on the data, prompt engineering, um, and finally you're feeding that into existing open source LLMs. So you can use models like the Llama model, uh, chat GLM, which I'm not too familiar with, um, any open source transformer model, you can essentially use all of this data um, and, and everything you've collected from the internet relating to finance to fine tune that model for your own specific purpose being financial research. Um, and then eventually use it for all sorts of applications, including a robo advisor, financial fraud detection, quantitative trading, credit scoring, risk management. Essentially, they're just saying, if, if you are able to apply this framework properly, there are so many different financial applications that you could, you could in theory use um, a highly intelligent financial focused LLM model for. Um, now, of course, as I was mentioning before, this isn't actually fully built yet. Um, this is more of a, if you read their paper, which again, I highly recommend you read, you'll notice that uh, this is kind of a work in progress in terms of this is how we plan on making it. But if you look for how can I, for example, scrape all of this data in their GitHub repository, they don't actually provide all of that code, at least yet, because I would assume that if you are trying to scrape, let's say Twitter data, Reddit data, Weibo data, uh, Weibo is a, a Chinese social media platform, as far as I understand, or I think it might be like Google. Um, and you know, you're trying to scrape all this filing data, trend data. It takes a lot of resources. Um, so they're not entirely solving this issue of you need tens of millions of dollars to 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 get a highly intelligent financial LLM, but they are giving people a starting point. And actually, if you look at their GitHub and the FinGBT repo, uh, which is also public and open source, um, you can see that they're currently working on some models. So they have some FinGBT demos where they're training it on some Chinese, uh, Chinese financial market data, as well as American market financial data uh, with different LLM models. So the Llama model is an open source um, LLM, G chat GLM is, also an open source LLM, um, and they're feeding in this financial data to fine tune it and eventually create these models. Um, if you actually look at their repos, you will also notice that they are going to soon be releasing a trained model on this data themselves. So that's really interesting because then you see um, the ideas of what I was saying before, where if you're taking this open sourced model you can not only use it for the applications that they, they suggest, but you can also further fine tune it based on how they did it initially 
um, and make it even more specialized for your use case. So if I'm trying to make a model based on alternative data, for example, then I can just feed in a ton of alternative data into this model and train it specifically for my use case, whereas someone else might want to feed in a ton of financial news data and financial filings for a company and train it really well for that. Um, I think that the applications for something like FinGBT are really exciting. Um, and I think that a lot of the work that they're doing at AI for Finance, even if it's not maybe at a level of Bloomberg GBT, um, it's still open sourcing a lot of research and development for things that could have massive impact on the financial industry. So if you're interested in a lot of the things that I'm interested in, in the stock market um, and programming and obviously AI, I think everyone's interested in AI right now, then I highly recommend you check out AI for Finance, um, their research paper, all of which I will leave linked down in the description down below. Also, be sure to check out Ticker Trends if you're interested in alternative data or any financial market research and our Twitter. But I will see you in the next one.